Good morning all. Wanted to do a quick little video update uh, of the uh, throttle quadrant I've been working on um, and the motorization of the, the handles. As you can see I still have the throttle quadrant pretty opened up here. I've um, been kind of working a little here, a little there on it. Um, just made a milestone last night and that was finishing up the uh, motors and the pulleys uh, and string pots to uh, connect up to the handles. So there you have, you know, as you well know, this is all you know, based on help that I got from uh, Rob in the forum, uh, 727-737-nut as you know him. Uh, Rob did this for you know, a couple other folks, I believe, including himself, and I went out to his house at one point and uh, kind of got a rundown of how it all worked, and he also helped me with some parts, like little turnbuckles you see there, and some chain link and stuff like that. So, uh, anyway, um, those are the poly clutches I bought. Uh, Rob, Rob was nice enough to give me the uh, the gears that are that you see there, uh, but those could be bought probably a lot of places online. Motors I bought on eBay, uh, so no one asked me which ones. I will just pan down over here. Oops, upside down. And there you go. You can see the motors right there that I bought on eBay. 24 volts, but probably run them on 5. Uh, the poly clutches, um, those you can buy online. Um, and then uh, in the base here is just made of a piece of wood, uh, Baltic birch that I, I cut out and fit to the flooring in my cockpit. Uh, it'll inset into the top of the three quarter inch plywood flooring. This is half inch. And then uh, the throttle quadrant has this kind of like flange on the base that'll be mounted downward onto the uh, floor. Uh, what else? Um, there is a set of pulleys in here that are mounted on the base. And when I did this, I forgot the second set of pulleys. I don't know what I was thinking, but I have to have return pulleys. I had to rip it apart and start, you know, redoing everything. But uh, inside there, you can see there's a couple little brackets and there's two more pulleys up in, inside that fit right underneath the fuel cutoff lever pulleys. Uh, the fuel cutoff lever pulleys, it's hard to see in this picture, but they're kind of buried in there. And those sit right underneath. Another good view maybe from up over here. You see the fuel cutoff lever pulleys and those other two pulleys sit right down inside below them. go. Those connect out here to the chains and to the poly clutches which you know you can slip the poly clutches on these shafts and then poly clutches you can kind of just loosen or tighten this knob here to, to change the friction on these. So with that um, when you turn these gears you'll see the lever you know, move with the chain there. And you get a nice a nice uh, tensioning here. And you can see how it's moving the chain back and forth. And then uh, I asked Rob, I said, how do I do the thrust reverse? Well, I didn't even look at the handles, but in a real throttle quadrant, when you get back and you pull up the thrust reverse, you can see this pulley. Well, let's see if I can see it in here. It's probably not a really good view, but you'll see the pulley in there turn. So I'm pulling up, and you can see that pulley turning inside there. But what that does is it changes the thrust, or the, uh, you know, it moves the, the cable even further. So you're basically getting that thrust reverse on the same pot just like you would with a normal throttle quadrant that you'd buy off the shelf. And that's a string pot right there. 
you can see that that just goes in and out all the way forward aft, thrust reversed. So that's how that works. Um, and then let's see if I can do a little quick motor demonstration for you. Got a little uh, converted computer power supply here with 5 volts. Let me make sure I'm not touching anything down here. We'll put, the, uh, we'll put a, a ground wire up here. I'll turn this on. Okay, so I'm going to try to do this while holding the camera, so I might be bouncing around a little bit here, but I'm going to go ahead and turn on the motor. You can see it's very, very uh, slow. Go the other direction. Okay, so there you see it from that angle. Now I'll show you how fast the lever moves. Okay, so here's the lever's full forward right now. Go ahead and start. Oops, I didn't have the clutch tightened enough there, so let me just tighten the clutch a little bit. Start that over again. I'll move the lever the other direction. There we go. When it gets to the stop, it basically just keeps turning. It, you know, the, the shaft is still turning here inside the clutch. So the motor's not binding up or anything. It's not breaking the handle. It's just kind of spinning around inside the clutch. Of course, if you have it too much tension, then the motor's going to get have problems. Um, but that's that's how the handles move. Turn this off. And as you can see, this is what your bench ends up looking like when you're doing a, a throttle quad rebuild. You know, parts everywhere, uh, trial and error. This is not an easy thing to do. Um, shouldn't say that it's not that difficult to do, but there's a lot of trial and error fitting a thing. So uh, it's not something that is easy to just say well here here's how you do it and and you know every throttle quadrant there's different variants so there's going to be different variations inside um, in mine you can see where I put another string pot here and you see that cable that's kind of looping out that'll be the um, this cable right here is for the flap lever which basically will just come down and be strung off of this little string pot right here going up and down and I have the parking brake I'm working on up here again one of Rob's designs a little car door um, lock actuator which will pull the parking brake back down uh, when you tap the brakes and then I'll be working on the trim indicators next which you know come down to this kind of jack screw mechanism. I'll be pulling out the jack screw, putting a hole through here, and putting a servo out here somewhere to actuate that. Uh, one other quick little update. Um, inside the cockpit, the three-bay pedestal has been repainted, so it's NG style. And that's all ready to go. I've got new FDS radios to go into that, all FDS panels. Uh, so I'm looking forward to getting that done. Just couldn't quite make it before this review and, and traveling off to the cockpit builders slash FDS get together this weekend. So I'll do that when I come back, but I'm excited. It's all coming together and uh, won't be long now. I'll be flying again. Have a good day.